You've done a fine job. One man destroying this whole facility. No ordinary man could pull that off. Something's wrong. I don't read any signs of life in the area. Who are you? The name's Dennis Eisenberg. I oversee Nethic's operation on this planet. And you are? Wayne. A perfect world, free of the acred. The Frontier Project is what will shake the colonists of this planet free from that horrible nightmare. Half a century. Fifty years is a long time. Some decided to abandon our dream and become the lawless snow pirates. It was our fault for letting it happen. Our lenience with them was our undoing. But at the time, we felt a certain duty to our former comrades. There were exceptions. If they would have just gone merrily on their way and stayed out of our business, then we wouldn't have had any problems. But they didn't, and thus they had to pay the price. With their lives. On occasion. It's never easy to kill someone you felt close to at one time. So you killed my father. Your father? Me? My father's goal was to bring an end to the Frontier Project. So... You're Gale's boy. What a sad end! I wanted Gale to come around and understand my dream. Then together, together we could have achieved it. How about this? Did you find something? It's faint, so it's hard to get a response. But this? Gale isn't here, but I at least want you to see where I'm coming from. We have so much catching up to do. I'm sure we can reach an understanding. Just like you and Yuri reached one? Hey, look at this! What is it? I'm not registering a life sign from that guy. Wayne! Rick found something. His contributions have propelled our efforts light years ahead. <sighs> he was truly a genius. Was! Don't jump to conclusions now. I haven't killed him or anything. <laughs> Too bad. Looks like we won't be coming to any understandings today. Commander. Huh? What do we do next? Next? Uh... Hey, we can't just sit around here doing nothing. We all want to be doing something, anything, but we don't have any clue where to go next. We don't even know what Nevik is up to. Or what Yuri is up to. There is still one lead available. This place might be worth checking out. These are the canyons. Right. We passed through these canyons before. But there's also a subterranean area down below. Huh? What do you mean? Well, depending on the filters you lay on it, a map can reveal more than it does at first glance. And right here, it's well hidden but there's a sizable thermal energy deposit in the lower canyon area. A deposit? Five years ago, 
A processing plant down there was shut down and abandoned for some reason. There's enough thermal energy there to supply Nevik for years. If it's been left untouched this whole time, it'll provide a good jumpstart for the Frontier Project. It's just a hunch. But if your hunch is right... Wayne, let's check it out. Yeah. Hey there guys, welcome back to Lost Planet. Yeah, a little bit of backstory, but is necessary. I mean, this game does have pretty long cutscenes. For some reason. I mean, the story behind it is pretty decent, I guess. I mean, the characters aren't the greatest. I mean, does anyone really care about Rick? For one. Anyway, there's, <coughs> there's a big pool of thermal energy that we're looking for, and... Yeah, Nevik's trying to get it as well, so expect to see me gunning down lots of Nevik soldiers in this episode. Die, 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 die. Oh, what weapon did he have? I think that was some kind of energy rifle thingamajiggy. He's so many guys here. And they don't even give me much thermal energy for killing him. I'm pick up some grenades, I guess those can come in handy. Can I lob a grenade? I don't think my aim with them is... Oh, never mind, I actually got him. Huh, okay, I should say that I suck at things more often, because then things usually tend to work out, and this is probably not a good hiding place. Because those things are apparently highly explosive. Even though there wasn't much of an explosion. Oh well. Hmm. Whoa, ooh, rocket launcher, I want that one. Although I actually think you can pick up weapons from enemies you've killed. That's quite a major flaw. Or, on second thought, I think uh, you can, because there's weapons appearing all over the place now. On places where I just killed these soldiers. So, machine gun ammo, I'll take it. And I will take this, thank you. I mean, honestly, if you ignore one of these things, you're just an idiot, because they provide you with thermal energy, which you need to even survive. They provide you with a beacon that tells you where to go. There's really no reason not to activate them. And a sniper rifle. I guess I can make use of that. Ooh, see some VS's down there. Probably not the ones I want to be messing with, considering I don't have one at the moment. Can I, like, drive these one of these trucks and just kamikaze into them? Apparently not. Shame, though. Would come in handy. Alright, pick my sniper rifle. And I'm spotted already. Jeez, these guys have freaking eagle vision. And sadly, the sniper rifle does not have a freaking zoom option. Yeah, Capcom, why you forget the zoom option? Were you gonna make it pay DLC and just forget about it? Because Capcom tends to make a lot of stupid paid DLC. Like for the new Dead Rising game, they have a new DLC thingy that is pretty much a pack of cheat codes. That enables like God mode and no time limit and whatever. It's like, why does that need to be paid DLC? That should be in the game for freaking free already. That just pisses me off to no end. I mean, seriously, Capcom, you make some great games, but you sure as hell know how to milk money from people. You might even be worse than Activision in that regard. Anyway, I think I picked off most of them. So, do I just want to drop down here and hope for the best? Let's do that. Alright, grappling hook. I feel like Batman now. Batman and Wayne. Is it a coincidence that Batman's last name is actually Wayne? Ooh, I think I just uncovered a conspiracy. Oh crap. This is not gonna end well for me. Need to get out of here. Hooray for the grappling hook. Useful in emergency situations. Okay, this truck is probably not gonna last very long as cover. I mean, come on, it's a freaking truck. What'd you expect? And the sniper rifle is just as effective against the VS as you'd expect, which is not at all. Ooh, and those things can freaking snipe as well. Okay, I might be in a bit of a situation here. Wish I picked up that rocket launcher from that Nevik. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. 
Oh, she'll have one truck. Uh, make that no truck. Oh wait, it's still there. It's not in best shape, but it's still there. Make a run for it. Nope, there's some sort of weapon up here that'll help me. Oh, I see a bunch of VS weapons. Those could come in handy. What do we have? Rocket launcher, and now we're talking. Alright, now I'm packing heat. Boom! Ah, so satisfying. And another one. That should have got him. I don't see the VS's headlights anymore. Why does it even need freaking headlights? Weird. So I guess they might be considered the cars of this universe. Even though there's standard trucks as well, so you'd think they'd have standard cars. Then again, there's been characters riding on like freaking rocket sleds, so why would they still need wheeled vehicles like these trucks? Or are they relics from a long forgotten era? Oh great, rocket turrets. Uh, wait, what? Ah oh, man. Do we have anything else that can help me? Gatling gun, it's not very effective against the VS. Homing laser. I guess this can work. Charge it up. And boom. Ah, oh, goddamn bridge in the way, of course. Try again. From... There we go. This works even though it drains my energy like there's no tomorrow. Fire! I must say, it does look pretty awesome. And like having two of these on a VS would look pretty beast if you fire them fully charged. But... They're not the strongest weapons out there, and they really do take away huge chunks of your thermal energy, so... Only use them if there's nothing else available. And what do I want to take now? Is there something up there? Go we'll check that out. Or I can... Oh, never guy. Kill you. Thank you. Can I have your weapon? Apparently not. Can I have that big pool of thermal energy that's leaking through the ceiling? Apparently only if I step on it. Oh, no, wait, it can't. Sweet. Because I really needed that after the freaking homing laser drained my complete supply to the bone. Whoa. Okay, those things are still kind of explosive, so shoot him, shoot him from a distance. Alright. I think I cleared out most of the VS's down here. Except there's still, still the rocket launcher turrets left. But I think I can manage. Oh yeah, and a couple of soldiers. But those are never a problem. They die so easily. Go on, give me a plasma gun. Is that really going to do me much good against the rocket turrets? I don't think so. And what's rolling there? Oh, it's wheels. Where did those wheels come from? Truck? That's over here somewhere? I thought there was no truck here. I thought they blew him up already. Oh, and I got a rocket launcher from somewhere. Hmm. Must pay more attention, I guess. Okay, if I can just get up there without getting my ass shot off, which is harder than it looks, I might be able to take these out. No, 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 no. Okay, that was close. Is that one down? I think it is. See nothing but a big column of smoke. Crap, crap, crap. How did that not hit me? Oh, well, not complaining. Oh, there's another few soldiers there, but I guess I'll just deal with them later while I manually adjust this thing. You I mean, hey, I'm undercover anyway. They can't hit me. Because I'm awesome like that. I have the tactical advantage. I have the high ground. Obi-Wan was right. The high ground does make a difference. Okay. Get up there. Slaughter the guy. And then I guess we get... Whoa! Did he just take out that entire watchtower with a single blast? And crap, look, like there's more guys after all. Die, 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 die. And you as well. I leave no stone unturned. I think you have some rocket launcher ammo that I would be happy to relieve you of. Oh no, I think that might be the guy up there. Or is it another turret? I think it's a couple, another couple of turrets. Oh well, that one should be destroyed. Yep, that one is down. And the final one, I think, slash hope. Alright, take these out for some free thermal energy. Ah, so much thermal energy. 
That should get me over 4,000. I think... Yes, I my thoughts are confirmed. Swell. Alright, more platforming. Get me up there, trusty grappling hook. Come on. And I can make it. Okay, so... I guess I go over there now? Oh well. We're kinda running on over 15 minutes, right? I think I'm just gonna cut it off about here, and then we'll continue getting to the thermal energy thingy in the next part of Lost Planet. So I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.